the judicial candidates we met with talked about the possibility of creating a panel locally that would review the court with using statistical information. Names, etc., would be redacted. Do you find um, any legitimacy to that idea? One of the things that we, well, I don't know very much about that particular idea, but one of the things that we're struggling with is to what extent would statistics have alerted anybody to this problem? Um, there's all kinds of statistical data that's collected and maintained, and, and uh, some of it's analyzed well and some of it isn't. But it's, it's the correlations that have to be made. And, and the cause and effect, any one number is not going to tell you very much. Um, a, a great deal has been made about the fact that the placement uh, percentages were so high in Luzerne County. Well, that in and of itself doesn't really tell you very much because you need to know what are the prosecutorial policies, what, are the, uh, what kind of cases are being prosecuted, um, uh, for example. Uh, uh, so. You have to look at a lot of numbers, and which numbers you look at frequently will determine what conclusions you reach. So is it a tool? Absolutely. Statistical analysis, is it a tool? Absolutely. Uh, but it's only a tool. It's only one of the tools. So what other possibilities are there in terms of reforms that you could be looking at at this particular point, short of throwing open the door and saying everyone? Well, we're certainly looking at the question of, of access to counsel. Uh, should it be mandatory? Should, should, should counsel, children have counsel in all cases? We're looking at the indigency requirements. Is it the family or the child that determines whether counsel, free counsel is appointed? Is counsel appointed in all cases or only certain categories of cases? And of course the issue of cost, who's going to pay uh, for counsel? Uh, so counsel is one check on, on the potential misuse or abuse of power. The appeals process is, is certainly another one. Uh, how do we get these cases to the Superior Court in a, in a way that they can get addressed and resolved before the kid's out of placement? Uh, if it's a 90-day placement or, or uh, you know, the, the appeals process takes longer than that, even if you fast track them. So, but, uh, uh, but that, that is, is an avenue that we're looking at. Uh, education of judges, prosecutors, and defense counsel. Uh, that gets back to the zero tolerance question. Uh, is, uh, we should be providing to judges, prosecutors, and defense counsel the kind of information that uh, would allow them to accurately and reasonably assess whether something like zero tolerance is really legitimate policy. So those are the, those are the big areas um, that, that, that we're looking at. 